And look at Airwick on the left. He was in the beginning. I, I I would go as far as say to say it seemed almost like he was struggling, and now he's basically caught up to Chris Pico. So, wow, wow, wow. Very, very impressive. Again, delete face. Look at that cleanup of delete face. He was able to kind of click through some options there to clean up that face. Wow. Or, oh, I guess he did it as a cut extrude. He and picked on the face and then, crawler. and then used the face to drive. We're getting that correct. Very nicely done. So, Erwick grew up <laughs> homeschooled on a sailboat and has three cats and Alaskan Malamute. Very nice. Very nice. And Chris Biko taught SolidWorks for 10 years at RMIT University. Well, your students are going to be very proud of you after that last battle. That was super, super impressive. So well done. Well done. And let's get this next battle ready. This one is going to be 54. This is a tier 19 model. Just kidding. Okay. And... Make sure that we got this ready. All right. I think we are all ready for this next battle. These guys look like they're ready. I feel like I'm ready. You guys all feel like you're ready. Let's do this. This next CAD battle between Onshape and SolidWorks begins in three, two, one, go. What is the mass of this part in XXX grams? The tolerance is plus or minus one gram. This is MMGS. ABS is the material. It's called a gate hinge. Gate hinge. And here we go. Just that quickly, both of our runners have grabbed a screen capture and are jumping into their CAD. And what a day for Onshape to be kind of Lagging. Here we go. He's in. He's in. He's got it. He's in. Crispy Co. on the right. Using SolidWorks. He's going to draw this thing looking down from the top. This is a cool part. I like this part. It's got, again, you know, guys, you want to get in the habit. Look at a model like this and think to yourself, what are the different areas of this model? What are the different challenges I'm going to run into? How should I start this thing? And Mon says the server gods are not happy. Somebody make a sacrifice real quick. <laughs> Here we see SolidWorks throwing up a overdefined dimension error there for Crispy Co. It happens. It's all good. He was able to get right through it. He knew exactly what to do when that happened. I actually have that warning turned off. So whenever I make a an extra reference dimension or anything. It just goes driven. It doesn't even warn me anymore. <laughs> Ricardo says, need sacrifice. The gods want blood. Solid works blood. <laughs> this live stream is getting very dark. <laughs> Jern says, I think we have the right person in the chat to shake up the tree. John says, hmm, who might you mean? Yeah. He's got a he's got a lever in his office that he can like just press forward and it like drives all the <laughs> surfer capabilities over to us. <laughs> here we go, Crispy Co. Drawing first blood here. Already has the first feature. Already has the first two features. It looks like. Crispy Co is really on his game today. He got all that practice in while Imants was going up against Dom. And now he's uh now he's 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 in the groove. He's in the zone, as we say. Eric's using a, a layout approach, kind of looking at the entire model uh, from the top down, kind of laying out. Uh, what, you know, where the different features are going to need to land.
think that that Eric maybe is uh, struggling a little bit with some of the dimensions on this print. Crispy Co. as well. There's uh, some of these. Sometimes you get a print from a customer, and it'll be. You'll look at the print, and at first you'll think to yourself, like, okay, this is no problem. But then when you actually get in and you start modeling, you, you, you realize, like, well, wait, how am I supposed to get that dimension? Like, where is, what's that actually coming from? Where is this coming from? And, you know, it's uh, it's usually from some kind of a customer request. You know, the customer will say, like, oh, I need this dimension to be this. And I don't really care what the rest of it is, as long as it's got a nice smooth face on the back or whatever. This print is kind of uh, in that same vein. Anybody who did a screen capture earlier, you can look at it or you can roll back and look at it and then come back to live on the live stream. I'm gonna have crazy sugar spike from all this orange juice. I probably should dial it back a little bit. I like this, Ricardo Jeans, I like this drawing, it's clean. Uh, that before, like the Megazord, I'm afraid of that, yeah. Yeah, that gear gear housing. So here we see, oh wow, the Crispy Co. just did a masterful delete face, wow. I was about to say, like, here we see one of the areas it's gonna be a probably a challenge for our runners, cleaning up that curved along the, you know, the front wall. Crispy Co. just went in and did, did it one click. Very, very, very impressive. And look at Airwick on the left. He was, in the beginning, I, I, I would go as far as say to say it seemed almost like he was struggling. And now he's basically caught up to Crispy Co. So, wow, wow, wow. Very, very impressive. Again, delete face. Look at that cleanup of delete face. He was able to kind of click through some options there to clean up that face. Wow. Or, oh, I guess he did it as a cut extrude. He picked on that face and then, and then used the face to drive the extrude. Wow, look how close these guys are now. I thought at first Crispy Co was pulling way out ahead and it was it was just going to be a blowout and now they're they're basically on the same feature getting ready to mirror. This is amazing. I better get this thing ready. Wow. This is really close. This 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 is really really close. Crispy Co comes in with answer 521 grams that is not correct. Not correct. Crispy Co comes in 521 grams. That is not correct. Airwick comes in with an answer 505 grams. And that is correct. Wow. Well done, Airwick. My goodness. These guys are evenly matched. GG. Yes. What a great matchup there between these guys. Man, that was cool. That was really cool to watch. I thought Airwick was way behind. I looked away. I watched Crispy Co. for a minute. I looked back. Boom, he was there. Very nicely done to Airwick. And in a way, we all win because that means we get to go to a third match between these runners. So congratulations to our runners. Let's go back to the Wheel of Feet. Let's see what it has in store for this next round. I'll shuffle this up a little bit. Wow, you guys, that was awesome. If you guys enjoyed that, we got 74 people watching right now.